I'm going to be doing a watercolor. I have a picture of a horse I've drawn on here. Now I've done it freehand, but if you're not um, real good at drawing, there's lots of materials online where you can print off silhouettes of horses or any other animal and trace it onto your watercolor paper. I have my paper tacked down here. I did leave the bottom free so I can move the water around on it. And we're going to do something a little bit different today with our watercolors. But for now, let's get started. I've got my watercolor brushes out. And I am going to wet a larger brush. For the sky area, I'm just going to wet it. I'm going to keep the water off of the horse. Just going to outline them. And keep it, oh, maybe about there. And just keep. I want to keep that horse white. We'll go in and do some details later, but for the most part, I want to keep him from being painted. Okay, let's come around this side. Oh, say about here. That's where I want to cut it off. Oh, we got a little water underneath. Around his head. Alright. Go over it, make sure I got everything wet. Being careful around, of course. Our little horse there. All right. Now that I got that, I'm going to pick up my paints. I've got it all laid out. I'm going to pick up some old phthalo blue. Get it real wet. I mean, I want it literally running off the brush. I'm gonna pick up some, uh, I've got two blues. I've got a marine blue, I've got a phthalo blue. And I'm just working the two colors up. And bringing it down. Keeping away from the horse right now. Right now, then I'm going to bring a little underneath. Pick up a little more color. And like I said, I'm trying not to get any on our. Let's come up here. And I'm working all over the place a little bit here and there because I'm trying to keep it as wet as possible. The warmer it is in your house, the faster it'll dry out. But I'm trying to keep bring it around his face. And then we've got a couple ears here I want to kind of all right. Let's Get a little down here. I'm going to add a little more water to my brush. And right up under his face. Add a little more water. And where does his leg go? I know that's hard to see on here, but I've got, since I've got it drawn so lightly, but it's there. And a little in between this leg here. All right. I'm going to add just a touch more color while it's still wet. Darken up along the top a little bit more. I'm going to add some just plain water to it. I didn't clean my brush, I just added some water. 
So it's pretty wet. I'm just kind of here and there. Let's get a little closer that way. And his tail. Yeah. All right. Now that I've got that, I've got a salt shaker. And I'm going to sprinkle some salt all over what I have. And as you can see, the salt starts beating up a lot of the color. You can see spots. So we're going to let that dry, and then we'll brush the salt off. Then we'll start on the grass. You can see a couple small spots where I didn't get that close to the horse. I'm going to come in and just kind of... This is a little twiggy brush. It gives you a lot more control. And just kind of... Oh, I see that's pretty good there. And you pretty much got it. I got pretty close right here a little bit. Pull a little bit of color in. All right. Looks good. Okay, let's let that dry. All right, it's pretty dry now. So I'm going to kind of brush the salt off. And as you can see, how that salt has beaded up the different and left a nice pattern on it. some of that salt away from it. And you can feel the roughness of it. All right, that looks pretty good. So, I'm gonna tape it down. This time I'm gonna tape also along the bottom. That keeps the paper from buckling. And when I put the mat over it, it will cover the edges. All right, so we have the sky area. So I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna wet down the bottom. It's where our grass will be. And just like we did with the top, we're just going to kind of go around our horse. And for the most part, I've kept most of the horse's feet together, so I didn't have a lot of area in between. But I do have a small area right in here. I'm going to take that little brush and kind of wet that little spot in there so and then just straight across making sure it's nice and wet all right i'm gonna go in i'm gonna pick up some of our greens I have a vermilion green here, and it's sort of on a bluish side, which is fine. I can pick up a slight bit of yard yellows to add to it, just to kind of green it up a little more. And let's see what color that is. Yeah. I think I'm going to still stick it, still stay more or less to the blue side. Alright, that looks pretty good. And I'm just, right now I'm just trying to get rid of the white. And then I'm going to go back in more towards that. Vermilion blue. And go around. And 
and you can use the small brush if you're more comfortable with that for your inside but I just use the little corner of the brush okay here I'm just kind of up and down like maybe some grasses are sticking up I just want to break up that edge a little bit in fact I got a little stiffer brush here I'm just gonna wet pick up some of my color and I'm gonna kind of work that hard edge out by scrubbing it just kind of breaks up that hard edge between the sky and the grass. And with the point, you can also get into those little tight areas. I'm going to go in and I'm going to actually pick up some of the blue. Some of the blue we worked here. Mix it with some of the green we got here. And we're going to put some deeper, darker grasses in there. Just plain water. That's all I'm doing is going in some water. And then right on the bottom, sort of blending that in. And we'll work in layers, working down towards the front. Go back in some of my greens. Maybe here. And this is still really wet. So a lot of this is going to fade in. And even on his feet, I'm going to cover a little bit there. I don't want to do a lot right now. I can always add more. I'm going to go back into some of my blues, add it to the green. it on in. And you can see how that's really fading out. We'll go in later and we can add some more back into my greens. And right along the bottom I'm just gonna add some water. Alright, that looks pretty good and we're gonna let that dry up a little bit. I'm gonna take my brush. We're gonna work on our horse. You can get a picture of your horse online and look. But I'm gonna take, I'm gonna go back to the blues. And this time I'm really making a lot of water into it. I, I want it really wet and light pale. Because what I'm going to do is right there, I'm going to put a line and he's got shadow. And it's underneath, he's got some shadow up underneath that hip bone. And I'm going to pull that down a little bit. And you can see how pale and light that is. You can even touch a little bit of the black to gray that down a little bit. Not much. So you can, right here underneath this tail, of course it's going to be a little darker on the back of that leg. And I start off light. That way I can come in and I can always add darkers, darken, darken it uh, as much as I want. I get my paper towels right there. And if it gets too, you just tap with the paper towels and it lights it up. I'm going to add a touch of alizarin crimson. It's a deeper red to that blue. And then almost a purplish blue. Keeping that color light. 
And like I said, you can get pictures off the internet. Let's go a little more alizarin. You can keep playing with the color till you get it the way you want it. There. Bring that around his lower part of the jaw. He's got a nose right in here. And his mouth. Somewhere his eye would be right in about here. Let's darken it around that. Take a little, go a little darker. Okay. This here is going to be a little darker. So this is on the other side. Right here underneath that, maybe underneath his mane. You can kind of pull that out a little bit. Under his neck. And you can even pull some shadows actually in the I'm going to go back to my original blue that I had up here and kind of get that outline a little in the sky bring it back up if you put if you do get some white in here that you want to cover make sure you bring it back out into the sky so it kind of fades off in all right back into my purples under his belly right under his arm here and then uh, i'm gonna leave it a little stronger there he's got his leg comes around here. So I'm just kind of picking out a few details so he doesn't look completely flat. Just get some different shadows in there just so he doesn't look, you know, so he looks more rounded. Same thing with the legs. This leg is behind this one, so it's gonna have a lot more shadow right in there. Wipe my brush off a little bit and pull some of that out. And bring it down. Let's get a little more color in my brush kind of around that. This leg, of course, you're going to have some shadow back here behind the knee. Same thing here. This leg is forward. There's a leg that comes right here that's underneath. And it's also underneath the tail, so you're going to have it more in shadow. As far as the tail, you got some shadow in there, and I'm going to get it real dark. So I got a more distinct line right there. All right. Down. Let's see if 
that's pretty dry. And go back in. And I'm kind of taking some of that off of here. More of an eye there. nostril. Let's pick that out a little brighter. Alright. We can put a little right down here a little bit, not much. I don't want too much there because I got this other leg here. I'm gonna Pulled that one out a little bit. I kind of lost it. And more darker up here. Pull some grasses up here. Yeah, let's get some over here. We can even touch a little bit of the black. Not much. I don't want too much of the black. Because these, of course, are going to be slightly darker. These folks. I'm just kind of outlining a little bit. Not doing a lot. I don't want it look like it's drawn on there, but I do want to at least pull a few things out. Like this tail. Get that a little. And you can have some lost lines along there. Here. I'm actually going to pull some grass up. And then kind of blend that out. And that'll pull its leg out as well. Right here, same thing. Bring some of that green up in there. All right, back to my it's me. And then I'm gonna come in with more water and just sort of fade that out. I'm gonna bring that down under his chin. And here he does have a little, oh, let me get a little more. So I'm just kind of playing around, picking out areas. So now he's pretty good here. Down his nose, I'm going to kind of, and then I'm going to take, I'm drying my brush off and then picking up some of that color. I just kind of want to get a little bit there. And... Of course, on the bottom, you're going to have more shadow. Yeah. Alright. He's looking pretty good. Let's give it a little more. And his tail. Fade that in. He was looking pretty good. So we're going to leave him alone for right now. I'm going to go in, pick up some of my greens. I'm 
even going to add a little bit of the blues to it. I'm going to pull up more distinct grasses. Nothing. I think I like that purple in there. I've got a round brush. I'm going to take some of my alizarins. That's a deeper, darker cool colored red. I'm going to add some of my blues to it. And then I'm going to let my brush just touch a little bit to it. I'm going to add some the reds into the sky. Just to vary up the colors. Maybe, maybe through here. Just, it gives a little bit of different contrast to it. And maybe some more water over in here. I like that. Maybe, maybe a touch up here. Some clouds maybe moving in or something. I'm going to take also some of that lizard crimson. Maybe. Oh, let's see. Where's my greens? it with some of my greens. It's just dark in some areas and it just adds more of a variety. It's almost black. So you can play with colors. Back to my greens. So you can play with the different colors in here. I'm gonna pull some of that up. I'm just doing it with the round brush. I mean, if you feel more comfortable with a smaller brush doing it, you certainly can. Back in. I'm gonna add a touch of yellow to that. And by adding yellow, the greens and the reds together, you get almost a brown color. And I'm gonna take my smaller brush. Maybe some patches in here. Lighten that area up a little bit. Where's my blues? So you get a little brighter patch there. Maybe over here. You get a little deeper color. All right. I'm going to leave that. I'm going to go into my greens with a touch of yellow. I'm going to get a brighter. And I got a fan brush and I'm opening it up. And you can pull up some brighter grasses in here. And right by his claws, so I'm going to kind of bury them in the grass. I've got some of the darker greens, some of the lighter greens. 
and this is wet. And I want it wet because I want that to kind of fade and blend in. And then I'm going to just kind of wet that brush and down here kind of pull it across. And, and just in spots, it kind of sets them down. But you can see how you can hide the hoofs and you don't have to do a lot of details with that. And by pulling across, maybe there's an area where he's tramped down. And over here. You can even lighten some areas just to get a little mixture. If you want, we can even add a little salt to break it up just down the bottom. I wouldn't do it up here, but that'll give it kind of a same texture as up here. And we can let that dry. Stand back, we'll look and see what you have. It looks like maybe he's out in the misty area. You kind of hold your mat over him. See if there's anything else. And you can see how that, by adding that purplish color, sort of broke that sky up. This right here I think is a little dark. So I'm going to go in and actually, while it's still wet, I'm going to pick up some of that color. So you can lighten it and even add some. And if you really want to lighten some colors, you can take a big brush, kind of scrub an area. And you can see how you can even pick up color. Maybe this is too dark over here. You don't like that. And this is just different things you can do. That's the beauty of watercolor. It still will stain the um, paper. You're never going to get the color off, but you can go in and lighten things up just by scrubbing. So you got lots of alternatives that you can do. And you can even come back in and just, you know, on some of these areas that you picked up, just add a few things. And like I said, we can always add a little of the salt down the bottom. You will need some color in there for it to pick up a little color in here. And that'll give it a little almost texture. So, and we can let that dry. And I even have a hair blower. I can blow dry it a little bit. Okay, I took up the hair dryer and then brushed that extra salt off. And I didn't leave a lot of texture, but it did a little. So, take this, stretch it out. Let's get our mat. Yeah, I like that. I think we're ready to sign that. And we've got ourselves a little horse grazing in his pasture. Hope you enjoyed that one.